afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets for the uh, session Wednesday, the 5th of October 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers, and certainly download the app from the Apple App Store or the uh, Google Play Store. Okay, in terms of uh, the um, session for today, this morning, the bias, the tilt, uh, in terms of sentiment, etc., certainly is bearish given the fact that US markets certainly finished weak yesterday. Uh, China certainly still offline, although uh, Nikkei certainly finished higher, 0.5%. The FTSE currently now is, has reversed the uh, yesterday's vertical rally, uh, an attempt a break uh, above of 7100, and certainly sitting with the DAX, which is down, and again the CAC. And the reason why the European indices are down today mainly is due to weaker EU data this morning, number one. Number two, Deutsche Bank concerns still linger in the background. Number two, geopolitics via Syria and uh, the uh, the breakdown in communications with Russia, okay, which again is, is actually causing the oil prices spike. And also the API data yesterday obviously came in uh, uh, for a buff, from a bullish perspective given the drawdown in the uh, in the crude supply. So again, that certainly is helping uh, oil-related stocks today. Although having said that, the breakdown in communications with Syria and the Iranians are siding with the Russians, okay, and you have the Saudis siding with the Americans, and it's war by proxy, so it's very hard to imagine how the uh, the Saudis and the Iranians are, Iranians are going to come on board along with the Russians in this so-called OPEC and non-OPEC potential deal. If there's a breakdown in communication in Syria, then that will have reverberations for the breakdown in the uh, OPEC potential uh, supply cut. So again, that certainly is net net negative and bearish, okay, hence the reason why you're seeing the FTSE lower, oil prices higher. Again, FTSE can only rally on the back of oil when you have strong fundamentals, and that isn't the case with weaker PMI data today. UK uh, PMI, UK PMI certainly beat, but again, with Broadbent's comments of a, a weaker sterling negating the possibility of further QE uh, or potential rate cuts, again, that is a net net negative as well for equity markets, so bear that in mind, okay? You had IMF downgrading growth forecast yesterday, so again, a potential bearish bias. We had Fed lacquer as well, certainly hawkish, calling for a potential rate cut, rate hike Sorry, in November. Again, all those factors adding together, indicating a bearish bias. Okay, Other bearish bias that I can potentially come to, them, come to mind, again, uh, BOJ uh, overnight, no action comments there, no action for now. Okay, uh, Again, OPEC crude output potentially highest against with Nigeria and I think there was another one uh, one OPEC member again so news certainly mixed on the oil front okay but again geopolitics certainly will uh, remain the dominant theme okay uh, US data out shortly US employment data and again that will dictate the movement in the uh, in the dollar dollar certainly strong yesterday given the hawkish comments okay now we have had the, the major I think a lot of folk a lot of individuals are focusing on this and traders is the uh, tapering tantrum okay there was a report yesterday that sent the euro usd spiking higher okay so 100 pip move in the euro usd yesterday i'll just show you that and demonstrate that on the chart you can clearly see here you had 1.140 uh pivot high 1.1240 so quite a substantial rally or 100 pip rally and it certainly has held today on the back that uh, given the fact that the uh, ecb is running out of bonds to buy okay ecb running out of bonds to buy and therefore uh, just bear with me one second. I'm going to take a potential trade on the Aussie USD with this weaker uh, Aussie data. Uh, bear with me. Weaker uh, US data, sorry. Just going to open up a position on the Aussie. One second. Now, I run a live analysis service for those of you that are interested, uh, where I day trade the markets and share my entries and exits. So, uh, missed that entry. Okay, 7620. Okay, 0.7620. Okay, so taking that trade. Okay, so yes, that certainly is the uh, current status quo. Okay, um, again, euro moving higher on the back of this tapering concerns. Again, a stronger euro is bearish for uh, European exports and therefore net net negative, along with the other uh, variables I've explained. So let's look at the uh, technicals now. Let's go to the German DAX, folks. Okay, so daily chart, German DAX yesterday, we closed the gap. Certainly have pause there. Okay, again, with taper tantrum in the background, you are looking at a bearish bias. 
60 minute chart we close the gap like i said more markets certainly vary from my perspective looking for a lower high and then a potential move lower 10 minute chart on the german dax at the moment yes we opened up quite substantially lower we failed to close the gap all day so therefore from my perspective certainly remains bearish okay and looking for a potential move lower previous support equals resistance and therefore looking for a move lower on the german dax okay in terms of french cac just go over to the french cac now daily chart the french cac at the moment is still again holding gapville holding horizontal resistance remains weak Tated taper tantrum euro certainly pushing higher indicating bearish bias oil now potentially coming into resistance as well if i bring up the chart of oil okay so if i go to a daily chart of oil at present okay so we're now coming into this key 50 dollar range or 50 dollar uh, resistance zone on the price of oil and therefore again we'll uh, certainly halt commodities in their tracks to a large extent so certainly bear that in mind as well okay uh, the other factor going back to the french cac now 60 minute looking for a lower high 10 minute chart at the moment previous support equals resistance failed to close that gap so therefore indicating bearish okay Looking over to the FTSE 100 now, FTSE 100 certainly um, from my perspective starts to show weakness, looking to potentially retest this breakout level from my understanding. Okay, so again looking down to 6950, 60 minute chart, the FTSE we've certainly flushed all morning, although we have held a 50 to 61% uh, support pivot low has been 7030 before we obviously witness this bounce. Now from my perspective the bounce will be feeble, okay, looking for a potential close, okay. So again, there are your resistance zones. Okay, so that's where we uh, stand. Okay, uh, again, the gap level uh, at the moment all morning is 7070. If you do get to 7070, that is a shorting opportunity for me on the FTSE 100. Okay, again, looking to potentially close the gap below at 6980. That will be in the real target zone. 6990 support as well. Okay, so these are all zones that are going to come into uh, play, folks. Okay, right last but not least euro stocks as always so let's go over to the euro stocks now i am actually short the euro stocks minus 20 at the moment on my short so shorts not really coming into fruition although we have had a pivot point pivot low of 2990 uh, i could have taken profit there but we did certainly observe kept it for now okay looking for a bear flag scenario well certainly was looking for a bear flag scenario to break down go back and revisit that 2950 zone still looking for that okay Still looking for that on the 60 minute chart, although uh, support at 2990 certainly is solid, so I uh, certainly need to watch out for that downside when we do get that again. Failure to uh, close the gap thus far, okay. So, again, previous support equals resistance here at 3024. Looking for a flush here for now, okay. Potentially back down to uh, two. This, this support zone here has been quite important, okay. So 2,990 and again gap fill, you have a potential intraday gap here at uh, 2,980. And that was the one that I was potentially trying to target, potentially even lower, but still maintain my bearish bias on the Euro stocks, okay? Right, okay, that's a wrap, folks. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the uh, bonus. Goodbye now.